In this short Blender video, I'm going to show you three Blender features that can be very useful. For this video, I'll be using Blender version 2.82a. The first feature that I want to show you is called Local View. To use it, select an object and then press the forward slash key. If you're using Blender version 2.8 or newer, you can press the forward slash on either the number pad or the main keyboard. When you switch to Local View, Blender will zoom in on the selected object and hide all of the other objects. If you're in render view like I am here, you'll notice that the lighting changed. That's because my light sources are among the objects that were hidden, so you may want to switch to solid or material view. In local view, I can work on this object without any other objects getting in my way. And what's nice is that when you exit local view by pressing the forward slash key again, the view returns to where it was before entering local view. The second Blender feature that I'm going to show you is the Bevel Custom Profile. I'm going to use this cylinder to demonstrate it. So I'll tab into Edit Mode, switch to Face Select Mode, and select the top face. Then I'll press Ctrl B to bevel the selected edge and use the scroll wheel to add more segments. Then I'll left click to complete the operation. To create a custom profile, open the Adjust Last Operation panel and add a check mark here to enable custom profile. Control points can be added by left clicking. I'm going to add three control points. Then you can drag the control points to create a custom profile. Now I'm going to increase the number of segments to give it more detail. I was able to use the custom profile to create what looks like a lid for the cylinder. The third and last feature that I'm going to show you is called Motion Paths. To show this, I need to add some keyframes. So I'll select this sphere, press I, and select Location. Now I'll move to frame 20, move this sphere, and press I and select Location again. Then I'll do this two more times to add two additional keyframes. If I play the animation, you can see how it moves. Next, I'll switch to the Object Properties tab and open the Motion Path section. Now I can click the Calculate button. Here you can set the start and end frames. I'm going to use the defaults. Now I'll click OK. When I do this, the animation path is displayed. If you make any changes, then you can click Update Paths. This is what it looks like now when I play the animation. To remove the motion path, click the X. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.